they had had the good fortune to be talking to Alice Shepard, who is a dancer at the Con Connecticut Light. I'm as I say, my name is Liz Quantrop, and I'm a I'm a white woman who is short. I have glasses and I have a green, a multi green uh, shirt with a black um, background. So Alice, can you introduce yourself? Hi, thanks for having me on Liz. This is going to be fun. Um, I'm Alice Shepherd, and I am a multiracial black woman. Uh, I have dark curly hair with uh, blunt streaks in it. And today I'm wearing a light gray scarf and a uh, bright red lipstick and some eyeliner. Good morning. And you have a beautiful smile. So I wanted to say that. Oh, the, first question, the first question is, what does artist inequality mean? So one of the things we think about at Kinetic Light is how disabled people experience the work. Um, I think, and we have come to learn from everyone in our community, that access to the work is not just about whether or not you can get into a building. Um, and it's not just about wheelchair access. So um, we've been asking questions about what does it mean to have cultural equity and aesthetic equity in the work itself. So that would mean that you, everyone, no matter what their impairment, gets a, an aesthetic experience of the art, not just a description of the art. And we've been thinking about the ways in which impairment and disability itself actually can generate the art in a kind of creative, in a creative way. So, for example, if you are blind, uh, have a visual impairment, or are a non-visual audience member, one of the things you can do is listen to our dance. And that means not just listening to a description of the movement. Um, we are able to offer descriptions of the lights, of the projections, of the movement. Um, we have turned the dance into poetry, into a soundscape, into um, a track that is um, a way of listening to the bumps, what we call bumps and bangs, like the noises dancers make when they're on the stage. And all of these things are different ways of listening to dance. What inspired you to do this kind of art? I was dared. It was a dare. That simple. Um, I met a disabled dancer and uh, we uh, had a performance and um, we were talking about the work afterwards and uh, in the bar and at the end of the evening we had talked about aesthetics and culture and integrity and it was one of those really important moments for me in disability community and of course as soon as I started dancing I couldn't stop. Wow thank you. I, I love the word light in your title. What is the mission of Kinetic Light? Oh, wow, that's an interesting story. Uh, we chose our name because Kinetic Light is made up of two dancers and a lighting and projection uh, video designer. Uh, so that's me and Laurel, who are the dancers, and Michael, who's the lighting video projection designer. And so we, me and Laurel, are the moving part, and um, Michael is the light part. 
and our mission is to make work that is part of the disability arts movement that is grounded in intersectional disability art aesthetics and culture that is made by disabled people. It teaches disabled people and it imagines disabled people as the primary audience. We work to advance the disability arts movement. Thank you. Do you think that dancing helps people with disability to express themselves? Um, not really, no. Um, I think dance can be a form of self-expression, but I actually also think it's part of a way of asking questions about the world um, and that the questions we ask about the world are, are in movement and dance are really critical. Um, and that's what Kinetic Light does. It makes work that is larger than that and, and looks at the world and not just ourselves. It's, it's about a practice. Tuesdays with Liz is a weekly video series that is in plain language, highlighting current issues in disability policy. It's hosted by me, Liz Weintraub, a longtime disability advocate and produced by AACG. We welcome your comments. Please contact myself, Liz Weintraub, at lweintraub at aucd.org or Rylan Rogers, R. Rogers, at aucd.org. And it's produced by Jalen Marks, J. Marks, at aucd.org.